going. What is going on everyone? And who's ready for a little story time with George apparently? <laughs> so a couple weeks ago, I think JC messaged me on Instagram or either I saw it on my own or JC messaged me. And we saw this post by St. Pete uh, Fishing Outfitters and they were doing the Sheep's Head Tournament. So we're like, hey, why not try and get after this tournament? Just have a little fun day out of it, try and catch some Sheep's Head and see how it goes. So the whole tournament was your two biggest sheep's head, um, combined length, aggregate length of the two of them is what won you the tournament. And we're leading up to the captain's meeting. The captain meeting was on a Friday night at the St. Pete Fishing Outfitters. The tournament was gonna be on Saturday. Leading up to that week, it was really not good weather. Like cold, windy, rainy, everyone was out of fiddler crabs. It was about one o'clock on a Friday the Friday leading up to the uh, captain's meeting, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go try and get my own fiddler crab. So I went out, brought a shovel with me and a little bait bucket, and I went out on a mission to try and catch my own fiddler crabs. All right, so I got my fiddler crab holes right here. Stick my shovel right in front of it. Push down as far as I can go. And pull up. See if there's any in this initial scoop, there's a big one. That's a good one right there. Beautiful, that's what we're looking for. Nice fiddler crab. Throw it in there. See if there's, and there's another one, there's two in that one. Awesome, another fiddler crab right there. The best sheep's head bait you can get. There he is, right there. Fiddler crab, perfect. There's a good one. Yep. I got the size of that sucker. I'm on now. Oh, another one. There's one. There's two. Perfect. Make sure you fill your holes so you know just leaving massive holes in the ground and move on to the next one. My first time ever doing this uh, digging technique for him. So I'm sure there's more efficient ways, less uh, strenuous ways, but it seems to be working. I got about a dozen and a half right now. There he is. And that's a good one. There's one. Perfect. Got about two dozen in there now. Probably ended up getting close to three dozen fiddler crabs. Sorry, George is bringing his little hedgehog into the frame. Go get it. Um, but we show up to the captain's meeting at St. Pete Fishing Outfitters Friday night, and we start meeting people there. A lot of people recognize me from the channel, which is amazing. I'm still thrown off every single time that happens and it's just great meeting every single one of you guys. Like I appreciate you guys coming up and saying hi. It means a lot to me. But while we were there, they make an announcement and they're just like, oh by the way, we have fiddler crabs that just came in. Pretty much as soon as they announced that, I start getting all these like DMs and everything. I get one from uh, Fish Stalkers. It's a bait shop over here in uh, Deneen, Florida. And they're just like, hey, we're gonna have filler crabs. We'll have some ready for you in the morning. Just come on by and all this. I was like, I just spent hours going out there trying to catch my own, digging up all these holes and everything, but can't complain. It's nice to have people that have your back. So I was like, all right, thank you guys. We ended up stopping at Fish Stalkers in the morning. We picked up another three dozen filler crabs and we also picked up, I think two or three dozen shrimp. What we weren't expecting when we signed up for this tournament leading up to it, was it to be in the low 40 degrees when we woke up in the morning and also blowing about 15 to 18. We're, we're in a tournament right now. 
Dude, we, we got big marks under us. I think they're starping. Dude, why is there a fiddler crab just running around? JC, let him free. Why? <laughs> I was gonna use him. So I'm starting with a bottom sweeper jig right here. I think this is a quarter ounce bottom sweeper. And it's gonna feed fiddler crab onto that. I'm gonna drop it by these uh, pilings over here. Boys, make sure your drag is tight. We are here on a mission. There's no YouTube drag for this. No. It's all, it's all money. Money, money drag. <laughs> we got that money drag here today. All right, spot number two. Sky was a little bit too low for that dock. We're gonna give it a little more time, probably go back to it later in the day, but we're gonna try this bridge. Should be about 10 feet deep, even on a low part of the tide. We're gonna cast it up here by these filings, see if we can pull out a couple sheep's head. You said we're just going for pinfish the rest of the day? No, I'm just kidding. Still got pop and cove. And Brent's got one. Good one, it seems like. Get him in. First one of the day, right? Dude, that ain't a bad one. Uh, I don't know if he's 12. Yeah, he's like 11. That? No, nah, that's probably right around 13. I don't think I got it. But, well, we got it. I don't care. Haters will say it's fake. We got a 14 inch sheep's head. Well, you did. I got a 14 inch no, sheep's head. The Sea of Dudes. The hey. Sea of Dudes got a 14 inch sheep's head. That's our first keeper of the day. Let's see if we can add to it. I don't know if I was recording, probably not, but he smoked it on these pilings over here. Let's see if we can get a couple more. We're keeping them in the live well, just so we can like swap them out if we get a bigger one. That way we're only keeping the, the two that we really need for the tournament. Yeah, uh, that's a good one, that's a good one, that's a good one. That's a, it might be a keeper. Yeah, get measurement on him. Right around 12. So what, we're at 26 inches probably? Are you using a sheep ball or a bottom sweeper? Nice. Shrimp, wow. He's definitely over 12, but. No, keep him man, throw him in. All right, ready to move up? Yeah. Try a new section of pilings. Y'all are getting bit. I ain't getting shit. Oh! I got hammered on a crab over there. He's got one, got one. Oh, it broke me off on something. Yeah, oh, I felt it wrapping on stuff down there. Yeah, that, that looked like a good one too. Yeah. But I couldn't really tell because it, it just... I'm chafed all the way up to the knot. Well, technically too, but... I'm going to try this dock over here. Look at the, all the oysters and... Ooh, that was pretty quick, wasn't it? All right, come on. Tournament winning fish right here. Got one, got one. Off that dock? Yep. There you go. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. It was like 12 and a quarter, so if he's bigger than that. I don't think. I'll get a measurement, but. I don't think. He's, he's going to be, be real close. Yeah, that was pretty quick over there. He's not even 12, this one. See, dude. Did you measure him? Yeah, it, was, uh, it wasn't even 12. Got one. I think so. Yep. It's a dark one. I think that's over 12. Uh, it looks a lot like the first one I got. I think that's over 12. I'm saying 13. That thing? Yeah. No. Nope. No. He's 11 and a half. Cute little guy. See you, dude. 
I got this as like an actual dock setup, not like a sheep's head dock setup. Like an actual fishing setup, not a sheep's head fishing setup. <laughs> got one. Nice. Huge. <laughs> toad, toad, toad. Massive, that's what we came here for. That is it has weird. been a day. We have caught like, that's like your five or six sheep's head video. total in a sheep's head fishing tournament. Cute little guy. See you, dude. What do you got? <gasps> Did you get one? Oh, look at you. That is cute. That's what we came here for. We were talking, we were like, we're gonna come to this dock. We're gonna get 18 inch plus ones off this dock. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be such an easy tournament. Brent was like, yeah, I can usually at least pull up one really nice one. That's the nice one he was talking yeah, about. Yeah, it is. Dude. Oh. oh, it just had me wrap for a second. That one might be around 12. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be bigger than 12. They did. All right. All so right. we struggled. We struggled quite a bit. We got some short ones, but the only two like keeper size sheep's head we got were like a 12 and a quarter and a 14 inch or so. It is 12 28 right now. And tournament ends at four o'clock. So we're going to try and do something a little different. We're going to see if we can go to some land-based spots and see if we can side fish or fish some structure from land to see if we can get some big sheep's heads. So we'll see how that ends up doing, but time to head off the boat and get some lunch. See if we can get this uh, tournament going off on the more of a right foot here. Three hours later. How'd we do? Uh, well, we had two 20s that got away at the boat, flipped out but we put up a good effort. We wanted to let Thani have one this time. <laughs> it was a uh, struggle today, to say the least. Uh, on the boat, we were able to catch some sheep's head. We got a 14 incher and one that was right at 12, and we decided to call it on the boat around one o'clock because it was really slow. The tides were a lot lower than it was saying on the apps and the websites that I use. Literally couldn't even get to a couple docks like specific docks that I wanted to fish. But like I said, I got a eight, or not 18. Wow, I wish I got an 18. I got a 14 incher. Um, and Cameron got like one right at 12 and a quarter. It was like really close. And we, I didn't really feel like comfortable throwing it into Yeti on some ice for a little bit. So once we decided to call at one o'clock, we got rid of the 12 incher and we we're just like, all right, Let's go see if we can get a bigger one. Uh, we'll just keep the 14 right now, go from there. But we went on foot around some uh, some bridges and some uh, pilings and stuff like that. Had some nibbles, had some bites, but couldn't connect on anything. So I think Cameron and I are just gonna go over there and kind of count this as a loss. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. It was uh, challenging because it's something that I don't do. I don't do this very often. JC was talking about it. Like, we sheep's head fish like twice a year. All in all, fun day. Wish we would have uh, been a little more productive. Wish we would have capitalized a little bit more. I mean, we called Donnie on the phone at some point when we we're on the boat and it sounds like he had a really good day. So excited to see how he kind of places in the, I'm assuming in the top five from what I heard he had. So go over there and we'll just hang out. Let's make it a good day. We didn't even measure, we didn't even try to even place in the tournament. And after kind of looking at the leaderboard and looking at everything, we kind of figured with uh, 26 inches, we would have got like probably like 70th out of like the over 100 teams. So definitely something I want to do more of in the future. Maybe not necessarily sheep's head, but if I can do some redfish, snook, slam tournament, something like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. <laughs> Total length was 41.45, 41.45 inches. Oh, you got to be seen. Four real fishing, 941. Four real fishing, 941.